Miss Erica Dixon. Straight from the East Side. Yeah. Straight from the ATL. <laughs> Girl, where have you been up to? Working. Listen. Living, living and succeeding. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and I love that. I love that. I love when you talk about that. But, you know, what I brought you up here for, you know, of course, one of the reasons. Like, it's so crazy because you had been on my mind. Nothing bad. It's just like, right. hey, hit up my girl Erica. Like, see what she going on. I'm like, nah, hit up tomorrow. Hit up my girl Erica. Let me see what she up to. Have you hit her. Then this video comes out with you in the police. And I was like, if this chick ain't Eastside, <laughs> like, for real. I was, okay, tell me. You got to understand, number one, I had been out there. It had to be an hour. Talking about this. It had to be an hour or longer. Um, so, so, what, so what happened in the initial stop? Like, okay, so, okay, so he, st he stopped me. He said I was speeding. Uh huh. Okay, fine. Write me my speeding ticket. I give him my license, and he says, "Miss Dixon." I knew then. Oh gosh, it's over with for me. So I'm like, let me just be compliant. So he was like, "Step out the car so we can talk." Mm -hmm. I was like, "Whoa, why do I need to get out for us to talk?" And he was just like, "Ma'am, get out the car." And I'm like, "Why?" He was like, "Ma'am, get out the car." Okay. Got out the car. He was like, matter of fact, just stand in front of my car. So I stand in front of his car. He gets back in his car. So he gets in his car. He has my license. So he gets in his car. So I'm standing there, still standing there. So it's like 10 minutes go by. And I start to see people like recording. So he gets out and he, I don't even remember what he says yeah. to me, but I'm like, you know what? I feel like you're harassing me at this point. Can you please just call your captain? Yeah. And he was like, I ain't calling no goddamn body. So I was like, whoa. So he gets back in his car. So I'm like, okay, y'all still recording. Like, you know, all these men out here recording. So can somebody call 911? Right. Let them know. Like, he just got me standing out here. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, why am I with my back turned? Like, why? Like, are you going to hit me? Like, what are you going to do? Right. And it doesn't take 10 minutes it doesn't to pull take, your right. information. So, it comes back in, you know, a couple of minutes. Well, my feet were hurting. Right. So <laughs> I bent over. I took my heels off. Um and put him in my trunk and I'm still waiting. Right. So he comes back. He was like, you got a ticket for speeding, fine. Um, and then he gives me my license and he gives me the ticket. Right. And then he says, um, if you drive off, he was like, you're going to jail. I'm like, for what? And he was like, like I said, if you drive off, you're going to jail. But so he was I'm done, like, right? Well, yeah, you gave me my license. Yeah, you're done. So, so what am I right, saying? So it goes from there to, um, ma'am, I smell alcohol. I said, so conveniently you smell alcohol. Are you kidding me? Then, then he says, oh, so you'll take a sobriety test. I'm like, no, you're harassing me at this point. And he was like, oh, so you won't take one. I'm like, no. And he was like, have you been drinking? I said, I'm going to keep it real. I had three shots. And he was like, a what? A Grand Marier. And he was like, okay, get back in my car. I pull around. to. I didn't even leave the gas station. Yeah. I pulled to the pump. I'm like, I have to use the bathroom. So I pulled around and used the bathroom. I pulled around. And before I knew it, he back at my window, banging on the window, like, get out of the car. You're going to jail. I was like, oh, what am I goodness. going for? So he was like, you're going for obstructing the officer. So he done opened my door. I said, but I didn't obstruct you. I didn't touch you. He said, stop resisting. Stop resisting. And I'm like, sir, I let down my windows. I put my arms out. I, I said, I'm not resisting. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I didn't even do anything. Like, why are you harassing me? So I'm frustrated at this point. Yeah. In the video, you can see, like, I'm pissed. Yeah. So I'm, call, I don't, I'm calling my lawyer. Left him a message. Let him know what was going on. I called my homeboy that I was with, like, hey, can you come up here? Mm -hmm. These people, what pissed me off the most is all these people recording. No one called 911 to try to help me in that situation. They Nobody? Just me. No. So then I called 911, and the operator was asking me what's going on, and he was like, get off the phone, put down the phone. He gets on his walkie-talkie, he calls for backup and says some type of code, and then here come more police everywhere. So this, so is, the, like, this is the Georgia State Trooper, and then he calls yes, for backup from you the call for backup. Yes. You call for backup because I called 911. Yeah. And so then that's when they made me put my phone down. I'm just trying to get somebody to come out here. I asked you to call your captain, what I said in the video. Yeah. What's so hard about that? If you're yeah. doing everything you're supposed to do, call your captain. Why right. are you messing with me? You couldn't tell me why I was going to jail. And you never read me my rights. Mm -hmm. So it's like you really was just harassing me the whole time. Like, it's like you was looking for a reason. It was like, I'm going to lock her up. I need a reason to lock her up. Right. And what's crazy, when you took me to the jail, they was telling him he didn't do something right. Like, we can't take her. So he was trying to fix whatever he did. Really? Yes. To keep you there? Yes. And then another cop was like, well, whatever he was trying to do, like, oh, it's not going to stick. And he was like, I'll make it stick. So it's kind of like you just... 
you just harassing me. Yeah, the because the probably because it was like to me in and I looked at the video, it seemed like a little power trip. And you they had about how many off like five officers on the you know, they female. all they all was yanking me by my left arm. That's what pissed me off. I said, So all of y'all are gonna drag me. It takes five men to try to pull me out my car. I'm gonna get out my car, but why all y'all gotta try to drag me like this? And you couldn't see, he had already put the handcuffs on one of my yeah, arms. So uh, he was already pulling it, and then they were on my arm, like trying to pull me out the car. And I'm like, I'll get out the car. Oh, like, my goodness. All that was so unnecessary. And you were by yourself? By myself. That's why he did all that. I was by myself. Oh, my so, goodness. So, to whoever he is, I apologize for who picked on him in school. I don't know if I look like that girl <laughs> or, or that boy. But whoever picked on you in school, I apologize for whatever you went through. I didn't do it to you. You could just tell right. it was a power trip. Right. And he just, he just was, he was going through something. Right. Then on the way to jail, you want to ask me questions and try to hold a conversation with me. You're not my friend. Were you having a bad night, Miss Dixon? Is everything okay, Miss Dixon? Are you Like, don't talk to me. Wow. And they're going to say, if you would have told me that you were just pulling to the pump, I wouldn't have took you to jail. So I'm supposed to sit until you give me permission to leave? Wow. Like, that come on. crazy. So did they, they arrested you. They said they arrested you, then they, they cited you and let you go. But all of that to just, all of that for a speeding ticket. Look, I walked in the jail and walked out. They was like, what? And they was like, okay. They were so nice. All the correctional officers yeah. in there were so nice. They was like, you you going to leave, Miss Dixon. Like, this is so stupid. Yeah. And one of them was just like, you know what? They're trying to meet quota. So just understand that it's, it's nothing against you, but they are trying to meet quota. And I was like, it's cool, but it was just so unnecessary. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Do you Are you thinking about, like, maybe filing a lawsuit or well, something like that? Well, I can't speak on all that. Okay, My okay. Is on it, so. Okay, okay, good. All right. Well, I looked at that video, and I said, E. Is definitely from the east side. So that girl, so what are you doing? Are you serious? I said you. I was, but I was so frustrated by that point. You gotta understand. I know. It was I know. Real tough frustration I know. because I'm like, I've already been standing and y'all yeah. recording. No one's trying to help me, and then it escalates to this, right. and y'all still recording. Like no one's trying to help me. Right. You see me trying to call nine one one and try to get some more people out, yeah. and then he calls up backup, and I don't know what he told him because they rushed my car like I had did something. Yeah, I seen it. And then. Even at one point, I knew somebody was recording because he was like, cut the goddamn camera off. So if you were doing everything by the book, right. why did he need, whoever was recording, why did they need to cut the camera exactly. off? Exactly. You, like you said, we hear so many of these stories about, you know, how, you know, they, the police interact with citizens. Not saying all of them are bad, but some of them may be on a little power trip. And that, it's to a me, lot of that, them it's, it's different when trips. it actually happens to you. It and is. You, like, you know what? Place. Now I see exact, I can empathize with those people who have interacted with some of those bad cops who don't necessarily do their job. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's, to me, I, I was like, okay, but it's, he handled herself. I'm glad she's out. I mean, she's doing it. And you still look fabulous. So it is what it is. In the mug shot. You know. Oh, not wait, to, no, not I did not. In the mug shot. I mean, even when you weren't crying, you ain't made an ugly face. But it was like, it is what it is. It happens to the best of people. And it does. you learn from it. You speak about it. Make sure you tell your story. And then you move on. What's crazy is I was just telling you, honey, like, mommy has never been in trouble. Like, I pride myself on not ever getting in trouble. I've never what? been in jail. Like, I don't have a record at all. And this happens, and I'm like, oh my gosh, so now I gotta explain this to her. You know? Well, you know, so it, it I'm just happens. like, oh, it happens. But like you said, it was just, it was something that was, you know, out of your control, and it is what it yeah. is. Yeah. But, you know, I see that you are doing a lot of great things. I am. I'm still moving with my movement. Yes. Um, team Enrich. We are in this thing, doing our thing. Uh -huh. Um, Still have class six, classics.com. I still have classics hair, right. and I just finished my second children's book, so you guys look out for that yes. soon. It's going to be available on southernbellseries.com. Okay, so I know the first children's book did very, very well. It did. And you make sure you call me when you get the second one. I will. Because last time I tried to text you, I'm like, this chick is sending me like, these hats, we going to fight when I see her for real. <laughs> Like like we really know, we be so busy. I know. Yeah. It just, girl. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. I know. I'm, my communication, my texting. Look, I'm working right. on all that. Okay, okay. I'm it together. At least you're working on it. Then all that that's all we do. <laughs> now, I know everything like after Love and Hip Hop Girl. So, you're doing great yes. without them. But do you look at some of the episodes now and you was like, like, do you wonder, like, how in the world did I end up on that? Do you see it as a... Let's I have not comment. looked at this show since I've been off of this show. Okay. And, but, of course, everybody's going to call me and ask me different stuff. And you see this and you see that. And I'm just like, I'll never be the one to judge because it was my platform. Mm, you know. Okay. So, and it was a great platform. Um, 
I think everybody's there for a reason. Mm -hmm. And whatever reason it may be, like, let these folks live. Mm -hmm. Let them tell their story. Either you like them or you don't. And right. They still gonna live. They still gonna get their money. Right. And that's just it. Right. Scrappy, baby daddy. Oh, goodness. Look, look at y'all. Do y'all still, y'all still communicate? Of course, right? Yeah, we right. still communicate, you know. What do you think about his situation with him and Bam right now? They were supposed to be getting engaged and getting married. Um, it's typical Scrappy, like. It is what it is. You yeah, already know the story. Yeah, I already know. Like, it's typical Scrappy. Like, it is what it is. Um, you know, and everybody needs a story. Yeah. So. <laughs> do you get, do you still keep in touch with anybody from the cast? Um, me and Rashida text from time to time. Oh, Rashida. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, yes, um, Miss Erica Dixon <laughs> definitely had to come up here and, um, you know, give her take of everything that had went on. I know, like, all of the blog sites, they had their story. But I'm like, you know what? I need to let my you girl know, come everybody's going to, yeah, they're going to make it what they yeah. want to make it. And it what's so terrible is everybody has an opinion about something that they clearly know nothing about. Yeah. I'm, I'm a strong believer. If you weren't there, like, keep your opinion because it don't matter and mm -hmm. it doesn't count. But, you know. At least you thought about it, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so Miss Erica Dixon, honey, is in the studio with me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I know you did. You got a lot of stuff going on, but yes. we definitely got to catch up soon, okay? Streets 94.5, y'all. That was good. Mm -hmm.